Hello everyone. How are you? This is Kay. Good to see you. Uh, so finally, uh, my throat is back and I'm, I'm feeling much, much better now. So uh, now I can, I have, you know, energy and do the video and live stream. So this is a video recording because um, I will be going out after this. So I won't be able to do live, but instead I wanted to share my analysis and my impression during the non-farm payrolls in the US today, which happens in about 10 minutes from now. So that's why I decided to record a video right now, this timing, and share exactly how I view the markets before and after the news, and also what I check during the news and so on. So let me now start that video recording. So let me switch screen first. Okay, and uh, also, so first let me share the news website. So the news website that I'm using usually is uh, this one over here, uh, fx3.com. And if you click on the economic calendar, you can see all the news. And this is today, Friday, April 5th. And we have about, uh, in 10 minutes, we have news in Canada, unemployment rate, and also in the US, non farm payrolls. So these two are big news, especially non farm payrolls in the US is really big. This happens every month. So um, every month uh, on the first week Friday, non farm payrolls is released. So um, it's gonna happen in nine minutes now. So for the next nine or eight minutes, let me um, basically get the overview of the markets and um, share my view quickly. So let me now switch to trading view. Okay, and I simply check the daily time frame today. So um, let me share my impression so far. Right, um, and let me select some interesting markets for uh, potential trade opportunities after the news. Um, so in order to do that, I am looking for, now what, I, that I'm do, what I'm doing is, I am screening charts like this and looking for the trending markets. And once the news happens, then these trends may accelerate and that will be the best pairs. So for example, I just happened to find the Euro Swiss franc daily time frame, and this one is bullish, it's up trend, because um, as you know, I use Ichimoku Kin Kohyo as a, one of my um, you know, main uh, tools. And as you can see this uh, market, I can see that the Kumo shape is getting thicker and bigger, and that means this is uh, stably bullish in the long term. And Tenkan Sen is up, which is a short term, and the price above the Tenkan Sen, that means bias dominant over sellers in the short term as well. And green Kijun Sen is also up. The angle itself is up. And Chikou Span above the candles too. So um, I said that in a previous video that uh, Swiss from pairs are trending this week. And at the news, after the news release, if Swiss from pairs continuously bullish, then most likely it continues next week. Or even today, I may be able to find a chance to trade on one of the Swiss run pairs after the news. So that's one thing I'm checking when I screen chart before these big news events. So Euro Swiss franc, I will definitely uh, monitor closely. And to the resistance, there is only 50 pips. So at the news, it may reach close to the resistance or it may even break the resistance and continues bullish. So when it happens, let's monitor together and I will give you some impressions as well. So like this, when I scan charts, for example, pound USD is completely ranging. Although this is USD pair, one of the USD related pair, but uh, since it's range, I don't really expect which way it's going. And Euro USD also, Euro USD is also range the price is within the Kumo, Chikospan touching, 
So in this case, it's very difficult to trade because it's range and there's no direction. And as a, as a trend follower, this is not the market to focus before news. So pound USD is range and pound JPY is range also now consolidating. And pound CAD is not really trending right now overall. Today is bullish, but overall it's all like range. And pound AUD is also range too. But one thing it's good that is uh, it broke, it's about to break the support level of uh, 1.9184. So let's see if it breaks the support or even Kumo on the daily time frame so that the next week or uh, by the end of today, the market may continue trend down. So I will mark this one, monitor this one too. And pound Swiss franc is bullish continuously, just like Euro Swiss franc, Kumo is up, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen both bullish, Chikou Span above candles, so I mark red. And the USDJPY is very close to the resistance, but if uh, USD is bold and JPY sold at the news, it can break the resistance. To the resistance, there is only um, 50 or 60 pips or so, so it may break that resistance. So I check the USDJPY as well. And USDCAD is completely ranging, but again, this one is also near the resistance, and it's 1.3613. And this one, it may break the resistance, and once it does, we can expect the potential pips of 284 to take. So that's one thing that's good in terms of the target. So I monitor, and also this is called a P wave. P wave, it's a triangle range. So once the P wave breaks bullish, then from within today or next week onwards, it may break the trend line, and USCCAD may be one of the best pairs in terms of the target. So I mark red on this one also. So and USCC franc is now consolidating. Uh, now the price is um, below the Tenkan Sen, so the bullish momentum is getting weaker. But uh, if the price breaks the resistance, which is up, um, let's see, only 83 pips or so. So if he breaks the resistance, he may be bullish. So just in case I mark red to monitor uh, after or during the uh, non-farm payrolls. So ADUC's range, it's in the Kumo, so there is not much movement, so I simply skip. ADJPY has been bullish, and uh, there are two long wicks. So I can see that there's a strong resistance area here. So it may not break, but let's see. This is bullish in waves, so once it breaks bullish, this can be also one of the good pairs to trade. So I mark red. So. Yeah, this one is also about to break the resistance. So let's see if it does at the news. ADC's franc is also bullish. I mark red. It's going to happen in three minutes. And CAD JPY is retracing. And CDC's franc is also bullish. Kumo Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, Chikou Span. So I mark red. And finally, C's franc JPY is getting down and close to the support. So I will check this one too. So that means if the new, when the news happens and if the Swiss franc becomes strong, then we see potential bullish trends among the Swiss franc pairs. Okay, and relating to the forex pairs, gold can be affected by the news. So let me check gold. Gold is now bullish too, so I mark red because the Kumo is up, Kijun Sen up, Tenkan Sen up, and Chikou Span above candles. So at the news, the market may break the resistance and continues bullish, right? So that's one thing also to monitor. That's XAUUST gold. So um, I will be monitoring these pairs in markets on the on the right side, as you can see in the trading view. So let's see. Now the news is gonna happen in two minutes. In two minutes. So let's wait. Now it's only one minute. And when the news happens, 
what I also check is the currency strings chart, the strings chart. So this strings chart is telling you the strings of each currency. So this refreshes every five minutes. So after news release, and if you refresh the website five minutes later, then you see the angles of each pair up and down. And that's also one thing, uh, one of the in, uh, easiest ways to uh, capture exactly how the news affected. So not only non-fan payrolls, but also you can use this idea on any news. Today, I happen to be recording the video before the news, so I will mainly check the, um, the candlesticks. But if you, if you happen to be after news, like uh, 5, 10 minutes, or even 15, 30 minutes after news, you can first check the strings chart and see how the market reacted. Oh, and as I talk already, that there's a reaction. Okay, so now, okay, before I um, check the charts, let me just do this because I think the impact was really huge. So the currency strength chart actually moved, the initial movement. So now I can see that the USD is up, the orange USD is so much bullish, and the euro is also bold, and the JPY is also bold, and um, pound is flat, I, okay, pound is also up, pound is also bold, and AUD is down, AUD is sold, and the Swiss franc is sold, okay, Swiss franc sold, so, and uh, CAD is, uh, now it's bold. The purple CAD is up, so it's bold. And New Zealand dollar is now sold. Okay, so that's how we, how we can tell by the news and how each currency was affected by the news. And based on that, you check the charts. So Swiss franc is sold and um, USD is bold, and that means the Swiss from pairs are all retracing. So let's check. Okay, well before that, let me check the news result. So as a result, I can see that um, non-farm payrolls, so before it was 270, and consensus was 200, and the actual was 303K. So the result actual was much higher, much better than the previous, much better than the consensus. So in this case, usually this currency, in this case, in this case is a USD, is bold. So yeah, and also one thing that's important to remember also before I check news is that um, I say you better stay away from all the markets. Sometimes I get the questions, so this is the news in the US. So can I just trade still pound JPY, for example, because pound JPY is not the USD uh, pair. So you won't be affected, right? And my answer is no, because it may be indirectly in impacted. So as you can see the strength chart again, pound is sold very heavily and JPY's bought very heavily too. The light blue is JPY, it's up, and the green pound is down, right? So this is not the USD pair, this is not the USD currency, but indirectly it affects like this. So that's why I say before this big news, before this big news in any countries, any currencies, you better stay away because uh, we never know which way the market goes at the news. And I never trade at the news. So simply I wait until the market settles after news. And if I can see the next trend direction after news, that's the way I follow. So that's also one thing important to remember at the news. So now let's check. So uh, first, Euro Swiss franc. So Euro Swiss franc, uh, it was, it has been bullish and Swiss franc is sold, a euro is uh, now, let's see, Swiss franc is sold, so this pair is continuously bullish. 
but looks like the impact was not that much. So Euro and Swiss franc. So um, let me see, Euro is bought, Swiss franc is sold. So what's gonna happen on, on the pair on Euro Swiss franc as a pair? Would it be bullish or bearish? If Euro is bought, Swiss franc is sold, that means Euro Swiss franc is bullish. So looks like the market is, the, the news has been affected the market towards the major direction. But the strength was not enough to break the resistance. So let me now check one hour time frame. So one hour shows like this at the news, there's um, still, you know, this is uh, not the bullish bar, this is bullish bar, but um, long week up and down. So we can see that the impact was not that much. Okay, and let me also check the pound AUD. Pound AUD has been bearish, and I said um, to, to uh, wait for the break of the support. But looks like the support level breakout didn't happen. Pound AUD. So pound, pound was sold, AUD was sold too. So when these two currencies sold together, what's gonna happen in the market? When pound is sold, and AUD is also sold as a pair pound AUD, what's gonna happen is this becomes range. It doesn't move, the market. So now it's consolidating, and it didn't break the support. So that means from next week, I think it continues range. So next is pound Swiss franc. So pound Swiss franc pair, pound was sold, and Swiss franc was sold also. So that means pound Swiss franc is now consolidating. And in fact, again, today's bullish. So I was expecting the price to go up and uh, eventually breaks the resistance, but the news did not really feel well the market to go up. So let me just in case check one hour. One hour time frame shows now it's uh, consolidating. It's a bearish bar. So there's a long week pointing up. So initially it went up, but now it's getting down. It's sold and it's consolidating. So most likely, I think that this market goes range sideways after this. So it looks like so far we have checked Euro Swiss franc, pound AUD, and pound Swiss franc, and these are not really. Um, you know, moving towards the major direction after news. And USDJPY. So USDJPY, um, JPY is sold, uh, sorry, JPY is bought as a light blue, and USD was also bought. So when two currencies bought at the same time, then that means this market consolidates. But in this case, technically speaking, USD is much more stronger than JPY. So in this case, as a pair UC JPY, this one becomes bullish. So um, in fact, now it's bullish bar. And if I check the one hour time frame, it's also bullish bar. So UC JPY may break the resistance uh, within today or next week. And now it was before 62 pips to the resistance, but now it's, um, it's only 34 pips to the resistance. So yeah, it can break the resistance anytime. But regarding the USDJPY, Bank of Japan, BOJ may intervene, so uh, we may have to be careful. Even if it breaks the resistance, you may not be able to follow bullish trend. But USDJPY now is having a potential breakout at, after the news. So let's check some other pairs. USCCAD. Okay, USCCAD, I have been waiting for the breakout of the resistance and looks like the news flew well. The news has been supporting the breakout and it's about, it's about to break. So um, let's see again, so the strings chart USD was bold, as we saw earlier, and CAD was sold, right? So 
USD is bought, CAD is sold, and this pair as a USD CAD became bullish after the news. So, and that's why it's, it's breaking that resistance. So USD CAD looks the best pair to trade. So I mark, let's see, in this case, sorry, let me go to Forex. Um, USD CAD, I mark light blue, because this one looks very good. Okay, so most likely USCCAD will be one of the best pair to trade after news. And let me check one hour time frame. And one hour bar, one hour shows a bullish bar. And this is at the news. The, the market was bought 65 pips. It's a quite a big movement. So I think the correction should happen and also I can see that the one hour Kumo is very thin. So that means I think the market retrace. I think the market retrace and bounce on the previous resistance 1.3613 and goes up this way. Or it may break that level even and goes down to the previous one hour resistances, which is, uh, which is uh, 1.3587 and bounce and goes up this way too. But either way, it's bullish, so I wait for the retracement and buy. Or maybe next week, Monday, Tuesday, I come back and uh, get ready to trade. So that's USCCAD. So like this, I check the pairs and um, see what's gonna happen, what happens after the news. So, I just want to give you some examples of how I look at the markets, at the news. So I just stopped my analysis for now, but uh, this is how I view the markets at the news, before and after the news. So again, before news, you must check the news website first and see what's gonna happen, what's coming up, but never spe skip, uh, skip, speculate and never predict what's gonna happen at the news because we never know how the market's gonna react by these news, all right? And also, um, forgot to mention that CAD in Canada, unemployment rate was negative. This is worse than previous and worse than consensus. So in this case, usually the pair, in this case CAD will be sold. And you can see that the, in fact CAD was sold because of that um, negative uh, result on that unemployment rate report. So when, especially like in this case, when two news are together, then the impact among the markets becomes really big. So you really have to stay away from the market. Always come back after news and find the new direction, find the best pair to trade. And this is the safest way to, uh, to trade um, before or after the news and also to become a non-losing trader that I said it's the most important part because the most important is before you start to make profits, the most important is not to lose. So if you know how to avoid the drawdowns and how not to gamble, then if you apply strategies, and continue with discipline, then you, you should be able to run profits over time. So that's how I view the markets after the big news. And I thought today is a good example, so just wanted to take a video and share that with you. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please press the like button and please subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified as I upload new videos or as I do the live stream in the future on my YouTube. So thank you very much again and hope to see you again soon. So till then, please stay healthy, stay safe, stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you very much.